Okay, remember they're changing my voice. If you don't know that I'm right, then you're silly. In my last um, video, I made it clear that there's some groups of people that are more guilty than others. For example, are the Nazis more guilty than hippies? How many of you would hesitate to say so? Is the government more guilty than the Boy Scouts? You know, the average kids in the Boy Scouts, the kids of the Boy Scouts. How many of you would hesitate to say so? That's the truth. And if you confuse these things, you're obstructing justice and creating problems and so on and so forth. Also insulting people unfairly and so on and so forth. Okay. Now that that's, that's accomplished here. Obviously, everyone from every race, white, Jew, and LGBT, everyone's, you know, welcome to rally and obey God through me. But you have to understand what's going on and what the fair response is and what God is and isn't. Okay. So point number nine. Now consider how language and romantic relations cause the normal person stress. For example, we see this in the word play in the words semantics and romantic. Semantic is a play on words for um, semantics. Seaman, right? Semen, right? You know, sperm. And also semantics, right? So if you say, hey, you know, if you say that you are the most righteous, okay? When I'm the most righteous, I'm going to be mad. When you say, hey, you know, that guy is, is the most upstanding citizen in this city, and he's, he's a devil, I'm going to be mad, right? See, man, a real man's going to be mad. You see, that's the most handsome person when in Psalm 45, it says that inner beauty that makes, that helps forge the outer beauty, makes the most handsome of men, the most excellent of men, Psalm 45. Then the righteous man's going to be mad. When you point toward wicked people and say, that person's so smart, and, and, and my kid should be like him, you're going to piss someone off. You say, I'm smarter than, than Jesus is. What, the, what are you talking about? Wisdom is the highest form of intelligence. When you say, well, that's a good person, what are you talking about? There's no one good but God's son. When he, he's in the spirit of God. There's only one, the blameless one. I'm blameless, therefore I'm good. And God is the true, pure, purest form of good, according to your, your book. Semantics. It's even the semantics there. I am good God, wonderful counselor, okay? Mighty God, but am I God Almighty? No. So when you pretend that I'm equal to God, it's going to piss me off. Going back to semantics, it's your communication. Commune, community, I see Alpha Shun, communication. And romantic is ormantic. When you say, Psh, why would I want to date you? You're just Jesus. I prefer Elon Musk or whatever. It's going to piss off God and I. And I'm going to be mad at you and your community and your parents and anyone else who fed into the despicable falsehood that you should shun the most righteous guy for your petty emotions, for your scatterbrained opinion about what to do. We, we can easily scan your brain and say, look, you have the brain scan of someone who doesn't know what the fuck they're doing in life. And you think the emotions from the frontal lobe of your brain and the, the laughable accompanying judgment is greater than doing what is morally precise when it comes to dating, when God is love, and that is despicable, outrageous, unforgivably disgusting, so to speak. Repent, atone, obey. And no propaganda wordplay these things in their morally precise form if i don't do what's morally precise don't believe me if you have a better argument and you state it and i refuse to consume uh, 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 to conceive excuse me then don't believe me right but if i make the most effective moral argument and you choose to live your despicable life then to hell with you and everyone like you And these words in the wordplay are, are, you know, stick out big time. Semantics, romantic, right? Together, to get her. Injustice, unjust ice. That's wrong. So where the wordplay is wrong, it's wrong. But where it's telling us an important part of life, and it's right, and it's right. Should you do things in a way that favors just people from the Iceland, from Iceland or snow, snowy places, Alaska and, and, and Northern Europe? That's fucking retarded. Hey, guys, I, it's in the wordplay. You do what is right. One must consider how speech patterns, accents, and language style come together to form a deliberate social construct for white supremacy that seeks to unfairly elevate the English uh, and the professors, among other people. Now, why? Because we're speaking English. We're in what's called the Anglosphere. 
So even if an English person is screaming and yelling and crying his head off, say it's not fair and I don't approve. Okay? It's still how it's designed. An Anglo-Saxon, right? They say wasp, right? White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Okay? And what, you know, where do they speak English? Where they don't, why, right? So I was cut off. I was saying they speak English in Nigeria where my father is from. And in Revolution, Revelation, it says that where the prostitute sits by, you know, the many waters, those waters symbolize the people, nations, multitudes, and languages. Okay? So again, semantic, right? Semantic or semantic, right? Phoenicians, phonetics, right? And who were some of the main bad guys in the Bible was the uh, Canaanites. Jesus even referred to the Canaanite woman who was from Greece, right? She kind of the Greeks merged with the Canaanites. They're said to be ultimately, if you know, like the Philistines, they have a strong ties to Crete. The, the Canaanites had strong ties to Greece and Crete, right? She was a Syrian Phoenician person, a Greek, uh, you know, who was in Canaan or from Canaan or mixed with Canaan, what have you, right? And we see that those languages, right? Um, factor in okay they're feeling me kind of making it harder for me to think and you know one of the reasons I upload anyway so you can see that you can see the evidence of that um, those of you who see it before they edit it too much or something you can see the authentic interference that is occurring here and you know that blessed are he the one who's persecuted for righteous sake for there's the kingdom of heaven when I look back at the last seven years of my life you know I say man thank goodness that you know they temporarily blinded me back in 2017 thank goodness that I went hard for God. Thank goodness I didn't sell out. Thank goodness I'm not some worm that would sell out. Thank goodness I'm not the type of person who could even fathom selling out. Very proud to be persecuted for righteousness sake. The gap between me and other people is infinitely great and I can say with confidence that females who reject me should be flogged because not only am I Christ, which by itself proves that me right about that, but the other guys failed to be moral. So there's no one else who's even moral, who no one else they should even be dating. So they should be flogged like a hundred times and imprisoned for life, so to speak. But I'm a f more than fair with people, and I give them a chance until my flesh dies. But when my flesh dies, that's where I draw the line. Because you all sat there like, oh, don't mind if I do. Like, let's see here. Which one of our kids are going to be in charge? You be in charge of that, and you be in charge of that. And we'll be like, oh, man, oh, let's all pray now. No. That comes with extreme and eternal consequences that you can't fathom. Anyway. One must consider how speech patterns, accents, and language style come together to form a deliberate con social construct for white supremacy. As con you know, they seek to unfairly elevate the English and the professors. Okay. Point number 10. I have no intention to oppress the white, Jewish, and LGBT community. But their so-called leaders have every intention to, impress, excuse me, to oppress me for their sexual, economic, political, and social agendas. I have no intention to oppress anybody including whites, Jews, or LGBT people, even though they led the charge to oppress me as groups, their so-called leaders, what have you. And they have every intention to continue to oppress me for their sexual, economic, political, and social agendas. So it is pathetic for them to say, he's being anti-Semitic. You're as people in the spirit of being anti-God and anti-people and anti-black and so on and so forth and anti-heterosexual are oppressing me and you have been oppressing me and you're oppressing people before me and you have no intention to ever stop oppressing people my goodness and you have some nerve to subtly or otherwise accuse me of being anti-semitic you fanatically scientific racist malicious people <laughs>